I swear I didn't die nearly as much as Cordell. Or if I did, I probably just used the same state to load back to wherever I was. And most of it, too, is just really me being impatient is, is the biggest problem because, again, freaking friend streaming in half an hour. I'm not done with my stream yet. And again, tonight festivities and things like that. Okay, I think I can actually just, if, if I grab this, I think I could just walk off. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Think we're, I think almost the worst part is over. Yeah, you got freaking one more fucking thing to do. Gotta freaking just jump over this shit. And totally fucking jump right into the freaking guillotine! Cause that's, that's fine. God. Shit. Not doing myself any favors by freaking constantly dying. Oh, holy crap, yeah. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was, like, kind of dead set on the fact that I was getting these crosses, I, I'd just blast through the remaining bit of this level just to try to get back to that point. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's heal, please. Because if I even take, like, one more hit, I'm freaking dead. I'm trying my best to not get frustrated, but it's kind of hard to not get frustrated. But a lot of it is just my own stupidity as opposed to flaws with the game. Some of it has been flaws with the game. I'm not going to sit there and say that every single frickin' death was my fault. It's been a, it's been a mixed bag. It's been deaths by, by my own hand because I'm stupid. Or just not paying attention, and then other times it's been the freaking game. Like when I freaking uh, died earlier, where I just like slid off the freaking uh, the map. Okay, let's try this freaking again, and let's let's freaking not die this time. There we go. They like give you just like that little tiny window. They don't really give you much much of a leg in that. Alrighty. We're on the final stretch, guys. Final stretch. Oh, well, there was a cross there. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have freaking, like, busted my ass to freaking get that cross. Well, at least I know if I die, there's at least a freaking cross and a power-up, so at least, you know, I actually do have some leeway. Like, they give you some bit of leeway to power you up before you take on this boss. I would have preferred to have full freaking power-up on my whip. <laughs> Damn! Yep, death. <laughs> Wretched cur, I will slash you to pieces! Oh, will you now? Eee! Ow! Yeah, Rosa. Give the sacrifice. Who knows? Have you forgotten your blood, girl? You would give your life for him? Rosa! Why? Your heart is strong and pure. You can defeat Dracula. As long as he exists, the horror continues. No one deserves my fate. That's fair. Have no fear. I will kill the Count. Good. Uh, I fear death. My sinful soul cannot hope for forgiveness. God of compassion, forgive her. Father, forgive us our sins and lead us into eternal joy. God has forgiven all, Rosa. And 
She just like disappears too, it's so weird. But you... <laughs> you I can never forgive! Vampire killer, you mourn a vampire's death. This is not the anger of a vampire killer. This is <laughs> the rage of all humanity! Ooh. <laughs> Freaking death! Stand still! Get hit twice! Ugh. Ow! You threw your scythe at me! Screw you, dude! Screw you, bucko! There we go, that's what I wanted. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. There we go. Freaking death. Scum of a Belmont! Back to your dark realm! <laughs> Soon I'll send Dracula to join you. That's so dumb because Reinhardt's not a Belmont. It's Reinhardt Schneider is his name. He's not a Belmont. Cocksure youth? Cocksure? Is that like so is that like one of those like really oldie timey words that like nobody ever uses anymore? Or is that just some word they made up? I'm scared to look it up because I guarantee when I freaking pipe that in, it's gonna be a freaking Urban Dictionary link. <laughs> Cocksure. I don't know, that just reminds me of, um, Star Fox. Cocky little freaks! <laughs> Okay. Clock Tower, Castle Keep. We are almost at the end. And so for the most part, the Clock Tower kind of typically stayed the same. I don't remember if they actually change it or if it's exactly how it was with uh, when you play as Cornell. But for the most part, most of it uh, was retained. Which is good, because that just makes my job easier. Because it makes it easier to remember. Let's please not fall to my death. <laughs> Hoot! I think this is all money. Yes. Reinhardt's gonna be a rich man after he kills Dracula. You know, who just leaves bags of 5,000 gold? Uh, 5,000. 500 gold just sitting around, man. I don't think that would be smart. This is the one that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. I don't know, seeing all this chicken is kind of making me want chicken, like in real life. <laughs> it's having adverse effects on me. I'm kind of hoping it's not as crazy as it is with Cornell, because with Cornell it was a freaking ridiculous back and forth. I'm kind of hoping that it's just freaking get this key, go through this door, get this key, go through this door. You had to do a lot of crap with Cornell to freaking uh, get where you needed to go. I'm kind of hoping we don't have to do all that crap. But knowing this, I'm sure that I'm going to have to. Who would be stupid enough to go over there? Like, it's pointless. It's like, just grab the key. Freaking. 
jump up to the frickin' platform. <laughs> Don't waste the time trying to get the knife, I mean, unless you just... I mean, unless you were using the knife, that's the only thing I could think. And you didn't have full upgrade. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, ugh, fun. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit longer than I had hoped. Because, <laughs> yeah, we got to go get a key to freaking open the elevator to get to the other side. And I know that this level is radically different from how it was in the original version. So I definitely need to, at one point, one of these days I need to replay back and just, or do like a flipping like really in-depth analysis about what's different, what's changed. I'm sure there's probably reviews out there who have already done it. I'm sure. I'm sure I would be like no exception to the rule. Now we play the waiting game. thing to jump up on. Jeez. Can they make this any more tedious? <laughs> I will admit, this clock tower music isn't as grand as, like, Symphony's clock tower music, but... It gets the job done. I think it's a fairly decent track for what it is. I wasn't supposed to... No, I wasn't supposed to jump up there, was I? Where the hell am I supposed to jump? Oh. <laughs> I'm just like, where am I supposed to jump? I'm sorry. Like, freaking... Not... Lost in... Like... <laughs> lost in translation here. Don't know where the hell I'm supposed to jump. Okay. All of this to get a key. Yeah, all that to get a key across a freaking pit in the ground, a freaking hole in the ground. Oh man. I think there's one more key you have to get after this, too. Unless they admit that part and they just made it difficult for the sake of being difficult for Cornell's portion of it. I'm just really, really hoping I make it in time to freaking get the good ending. I'm gonna be really upset with myself if I didn't freaking move, haul my butt fast enough to freaking make it to. I've, I don't think it's a week. I think, I think it's like 13 in-game days. Like I want to say they give you a fair amount of time to get through the game. Like I don't want to think that it's just it's freaking a week. I think I'm thinking of Henry's section where you have six days. Well, that's good that I have full whip upgrade now. Oh, God. I got scared there for a minute. I was like, please no. <laughs> okay, Reinhardt, please stay up on the platform. I, I, don't, I don't ask much, please. God. Not one of my favorite levels, to be perfectly honest. Because I think it's, uh, again, I, I want to say, I want to say it just feels tedious a lot of the time.
because this part went super heavy on the platforming aspect of it. So, okay, I think it, I think I need to be on this platform or not. The camera's not being cooperative at the moment, so I apologize for all the like jittering around. jump over those cogs. And be careful not to freaking fall in between, because then it will kill you. And I'm not joking, that actually does happen. If you fall in between them, it freaking kills you. Oh, I was freaking out there for a minute. I was like, oh, please, no. Please don't freaking get hit by the fire and then fall into the freaking cogs and die. I actually... I actually do think I have to do the whole level. That sucks. I was kind of hoping they'd cut some of it out. <laughs> How naive of me to think that they would. Yeah, because you have to freaking change. You have to go hit the lever, have the freaking hand change, and then you cross the hands, and there you go. You freaking get to the next portion. I don't know what made me think. I thought they, I thought they changed it to where you didn't have to do at least one section of this when you played as Renhard or Carrie. I hope you can hear it in my voice. I don't like this part, like, at all. Just because it's just like this freaking never-ending marathon of jump, 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 jump. Jump to this platform, jump to that platform, and if you miss, you start all over, or you potentially die. Because reasons. Oh, yeah, this was the part that annoyed me, because you have to freaking shimmy across. Yeah. I guess it wasn't really the jumping part, it was this part that annoyed me, because you have to freaking shimmy across and you have to hope to freaking gods above you don't get hit by the freaking fire. Because it's like if one freaking even small pixel of your body is on that freaking fire, you're going to get hit by it. And there's no way to, to speed up the shimmying, I think that's that's what annoyed me too. Yeah, this next part's annoying because you have to cross two. So you basically have to cross one and then cross the other when the other one's not active. That's weird. I I remember them being closer together. I just played this not too long ago, like to get through Cornell's story, so I don't know what made me think that they were closer. Fortunately, this isn't like Mario standard where it's freaking like, hey, you know, you can... get across walls and stuff like super easy. I guess I can say that I'm at least thankful that they didn't make that like a prime thing that you had to do in every like they might have increased the platforming that can be true that can be said but at least they didn't make it to where like you had to freaking constantly do the the wall shimmying shit. There's two instances I can think of where you have to actually do that. 
most of the time it's just like if you correct like it's you know if you grab onto something it's more to like correct yourself so you can pull yourself up but there's only two instances I, I distinctly remember having to actually shimmy a stuff is in this level and the outer wall I think okay and you have to be careful here because like you get freaking momentum with your jumps so you just like get freaking launched Crap, I forget. I forget where I'm supposed to drop. I think it's right here. Yeah. Because you're supposed to hit that, uh, you're supposed to hit that plank. Shit. Okay, well, that was definitely my mistake. Didn't mean to do that. There's that hole there, so... Jeez. Uh, Just sliding all around like I'm on an ice level. She's one of those roast chickens. So that's all I had to do, was just drop. I'm freaking dumb. I made that way more difficult than it needed to be. Yep, and then it moves the hand. And you can now cross. We're gonna be. Dracula shouldn't be too much of a pushover. So it's pretty much we're gonna be freaking on the final stretch. Uh, we won't be facing Renon because we didn't spend the ridiculous amount of money that you had to spend to fight him. He's optional. I don't think really much happens. Uh, I don't think it affects the ending in any specific way. Alrighty. And yes, there is a save point, and it's in the keep. When you actually get there. Final stretch, guys. I've been waiting for this. At last, we reach the climax. I only bought, like, I spent like eight grand on you, man. I've come to take my leave. News has arrived of an impending global war. The death of millions is a wonderful business opportunity. Didn't realize his eyes were red. I must be gone. We shall not meet again. Not during your lifetime, anyway. Yep, you can end up fighting him, and he's stupid easy to freaking uh, fight if you have max power which thankfully I do I'm surprised we're fighting Dracula with freaking the max whip upgrade and the freaking max uh, the max cross upgrade now if I get the bad ending I'll be facing someone here hopefully okay cool. okay yeah uh, you can face them both I think but in that second area, you'd face Vincent if you got the bad ending. If you uh, let too much time pass. Because Vincent ends up done goofing and making himself a freaking vampire. Okay, I think the safe stone was right there. Alright guys, this is it. Final stretch. Beat up the count and freaking... Let's freaking kick this dude's ass. I like how in this one, like, the Castle Keep is actually just a freaking 
coffin. It's like actually not a throne. Because it's like in most of the Castlevanias, it's usually a throne that Dracula's sitting on. No, he's there. Just freaking behind you. Yeah, I noticed the freaking the area closed. Ho ho! <laughs> what is he, Santa? Ho ho ho! Worm, you dare oppose the power of darkness? Is it death you seek? Yes, I had to make it so epic for him to land. As you wish. Come, I will tear you limb from limb. You can try. And this, you know, this is Dance of Illusions, which is typically uh, a track that they use for the Dracula fight. And I genuinely really like this version of it. Oh! <laughs> that animation, dude. Holy crap, that saved my life. The fact that the whip freaking, like, whip backward. Because <laughs> that's not a fun move to get stuck in. Yeah, this e this forms... It plays out like the typical Dracula fight. This forms really easy to freaking deal with. He just teleports around. You wait for him to gain form, you jump, you smack him in the head. Yeah. Arrgh! Ugh. Ugh, ha, ugh. Ha, 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 So you thought you had won. To save the world is not so simple, yeah. Miserable creature, how dare you oppose my evil might? Darkness will rule. Die, weak fool. Ho 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 ho. Yeah, he's not not dead not not it's not over yet. I always thought that that was super cool for some reason, just watching his cape freaking float down. And then it lights on fire, I think, yep. Yeah, we're not done just yet. Dracula still had a trick up his sleeve. So I think if it hadn't been for the break, I probably would already have been done, to be perfectly honest. But I got to eat, like other people, like everyone else. I gotta eat, so <laughs> I get hungry too. I like how it opens for him. God, I didn't realize how bad this would be. The camera was a lot better in this particular instance in the last one because it actually followed your, like, it was down enough that where you saw your character, yeah, freaking you get, like, shot at. And then freaking we see little Mr. Malice on a freaking demon horse, demon unicorn. weird though because in in the original his eyes were the the changed color at that point 
come up this elevator. And now the true fight begins. Yeah, that's weird. What evil is this? It surpasses even the foul aura of Dracula. Malice, what are you? Death incarnate. You have destroyed my servant. I did not expect such power. Yeah, it's because it's freaking Malice's Dracula. Enough! Now you face the Dark Lord himself. What? Not Dracula. You. The Dark Lord? Oh, no. Uh oh. Don't mess up on me now, emulation. Please no. <laughs> Please no. We got to this point. To me, this was always like one of the coolest forms of Dracula, though. To, to be perfectly honest, I always really d dug Malice's form. Imbecile, you thought you could defeat me? I waited only to regain my full power. Now I will crush you. I, Dracula von Tempest. Slaves, welcome the return of your master. You have killed my servant, the guardian of my sleeping spirit. Now after a hundred years, I return in the body of this child. I never dreamed it would last so long. Ah, the wasted years. I live again! Miserable worms, your rightful lord has returned. Didn't he already say something similar to that? I will wrap the world in darkness and crush all to my will. On your knees before the might of Dracula. Oppose me and die. Well, what do you think? What do you think I'm gonna do, smart one? Wow, he went to the same area. Okay, that's not helping. Yeah, this form's not ri ridiculously hard. I think they made, you know, I genuinely feel that this version made these fights easier. Like, it feels like I'm hitting him way harder than I, I ever did before. Crap. Oh, damn it. I could have smacked him like one more time. Yeah, that's weird. He hasn't warped to the middle of the map. Yeah, he's only done the freaking corners. That's really weird. In the original, he had a form where he'd warp to the middle of the map and do, like, a power wave ability, where he'd, cr like, boom, boom, like, twice. Yeah, we're not done yet. Forms back to Malice, and then freaking uh, Mr. Former Stupid Vampire Mighty Old Man Vincent shows up. Where am I? What has happened to me? That hand, though. You cannot deceive me. Ha! Your appearance does not fool me. Do you still not understand? This child is really Dracula. Freaking stupid Vincent. Try to stop me, would you? Miserable human scum. How long do you think you can oppose me? Yeah, now the real fight begins. 
prepare to cower before the true shape of Dracula. Which is like, I think he's like some like centipede looking demon if I remember right. Oh, that's an effect that didn't freaking work. I don't know what happens to Vincent. Like, you get warped to this realm, but then like, Vincent just kind of like disappears. Get warped to like some weird desert realm. Looks like Venom from freaking Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was right. He's like some weird frickin' centipede demon looking thing. It's like centipede demon dragon thing. It's really weird. It's one of the weirder forms of Dracula that's that they've done. I can think of weirder. Like the the one weird one. Uh, I I think the weirdest one to me is when you fight the Dracula Wraith in Harmony of Des uh, Harmony of Dissonance. Yeah. Ow! Hurt much? It's not hard when you're at max power, though. That's the good thing. I already almost got him. Freaking already over. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. I remember that being a lot more difficult in the original. I think they made it easier. Like, I think, like, when you're upgraded, uh, you're a lot more powerful than you were in the original. Because in the original, it did, it did not feel like the whip gained that much power. I think they probably made it to where it's easier so bosses are not, like, taking you freaking a dang millennia to freaking beat. You know, he's just, like, frozen there. No, it's Godzilla! I didn't remember the death animation being this epic. <laughs> or the death cutscene in this instance. Only the music didn't pop so much. That's the only, it's the only crappy thing in this instance. Actually, I don't, I don't know why I'm holding the controller. I can just put it down because pretty much just cutscenes from here on out. No more boss fights or anything. Yeah, that's weird. So it's supposed to be like a warping sort of animation, but it doesn't play right. It never plays right for some reason in the emulator. And you get warped out of the castle. It's kind of an interesting thing. Like, I don't understand that. Like, so you get warped out of the castle after you kill Dracula? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, oh, you won. Better make sure you live. Live to tell about it. 
I don't know. Maybe that's like maybe that's like just a little bit of Dracula's mercy or something. <sighs> Tell me, will the struggle the struggle against Dracula never end? And she's back as a human now. <laughs> they don't really explain it, so I can only assume that it has something to do with the fact that she was cursed by Dracula, and since Dracula's curse ended... Desire rules people's hearts, evil arises, and Dracula can return. The fight between Dracula and humanity is endless. I know no way to escape the struggle against evil. They apparently do it. <laughs> yes. That is the fate of humanity. But we have faith in each other, and we have love. <laughs> That gives us hope and the strength to fight against despair. As long as we have hope, evil can never defeat us. Come, let's go home. Your family will be waiting for you. Yeah, they eventually, I mean... There was never a game about it, but they eventually do. They freaking stop Dracula for, for, for good, in quotes, because they don't really stop him for good, but they stop him enough, apparently. Yeah, it's just like, what happens to Vincent? Does he just die? Like, it, it's never, never explained. And I guess we'll never know. Oh, man. Holy crap. I did this way, way late. It took way longer for me to do this than I thought it was going to. <laughs> but that was Reinhardt's campaign in Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, everybody. Oh man, this was fun. This was fun. And aside from the minor frustration of just dying because I'm impatient, um, I was glad to to give this another playthrough and to finally stream a Castlevania game for once. Uh, because I actually, again, outside from Circle of the Moon, uh, I haven't streamed any Castlevania games. So this was actually uh, really exciting. I was glad to to give this a whirl for stream purposes. Uh, Probably wasn't one of my, you know, more notable streams. I mean, not a lot of people showed up, but hey, you know, that's just how things are. People got lives. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a life. Um, so, yeah, uh, this was this was fun. I, I don't know if I'm going to do carry sometime. Um, it might be a revisit, maybe next Halloween or something like that. I, I really do. Uh, my big plan for next year is i really want to do like an all day kind of thing um and kind of start maybe early and then go into the evening and do stuff in the evening uh i don't know if i'll revisit this again uh to do carrie's section because really the only difference aside from story is, is that the oh, there are two level differences with three level differences with carrie so the fourth level is different so instead of the tunnel you go to the underground waterway and then it, once you pass the the tower the the castle center you go to the tower of science and then the tower of sorcery 
So there really isn't much aside from how she plays and her story that changes gameplay wise. Uh, pretty much everything else is exactly the same. So you go through the, the boat level, uh, the forest, the villa, uh, then you do her variant of the level, then the castle center, her two towers, uh, room of clocks, clock tower, and then castle keep. So um, if I get requests to do it, I probably will. Um, I don't think I, I have any plans to, to do it um, anytime soon. It, it probably will be another Halloween thing. Uh, I kind of want to try to make a Halloween, a special event. Like, I really want to do special event streams. Like, I want to kind of stay on the up and up with that um, and do something every time there's an event like Halloween and things like that. So, um, I don't know if I can actually skip this. Oh, yeah. Over at Crude Save Data. Starting the game with this file, you can select hard mode. You can use Cornell's second costume. Oh, it was just telling me all the stuff. Yeah, that's kind of weird that it told me that because I unlocked everything through the Henry mode. Alrighty, guys. Well, we'll go ahead and throw it up on the main menu so it just looks like a good demo. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me today. So I hope you all enjoyed. I want to give a big shout out to everybody who came by the stream uh, just to check me out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, minor little bit of chat that I got. Uh, you know, th that's the typical nature of this thing, though. I, I don't really get a whole lot of crowd interactive, especially just because people got, again, people got lives. And it's a Tuesday of all days, so I didn't expect everybody to be free. If this was like on a Saturday or something like that, maybe everybody would have showed up. But I uh, want to give a big shout out to all of them. Uh, big shout out to Toxic Eternity for the music that I used earlier in the stream. But uh, in the archived versions of this, uh, specifically the version with his music, I'm going to be linking his YouTube channel and the tracks that I used. So by all means, please go check out and support his content. He's a really great musician, um, very, very uh, underrated musician on YouTube. Does a lot of, he pretty much does video game covers and they're freaking great. Uh, so definitely recommend him. I want to give a big shout out to Jared of Avalanche Reviews. Thanks again, man, uh, for talking with me when I was in your stream watching you play Symphony uh, about Legacy of Darkness. Uh, he gave me the, gave me the the motivation and the drive to stream this so really appreciate that man and again i'm going to be linking his channel since i did give him a big shout out uh he does video game reviews and i love his content he's a very very good reviewer uh one of the last few that's still reviewing video games on this web on youtube so uh, i was about to say this website like i'm doing this on youtube but yeah one of the last one of the last reviewers i know of that is doing game reviews so uh, definitely check out his content. He's currently doing a Resident Evil retrospective, and it's really, really good and in-depth look at uh, Resident Evil. He's covered Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 1.5, the game that never was. So uh, definitely check out his content. Uh, his channel will be in the description box below. As well as all the relevant links to everything that I do will be linked in the description below of every video. Uh, if you feel so inclined, please check out my Extra Life campaign page. Uh, I'd really appreciate the feedback. And also, guys, game day is this Saturday, so please expect that. That is going to be huge. I have a 24-hour gaming marathon planned. Fingers crossed everything goes swimmingly, everything goes over. I'm going to have to look through my themes and make sure I don't have to edit anything live again. Uh, but fingers crossed. Um, and we're going to hopefully reach that $200 goal for the UNM Children's Hospital. And it might be this might be my last year playing for the UNM Children's Hospital, guys. I don't know if I'm going to stay with them for very much longer. I'm, I'm, I'm possibly going to be moving here very, very, very soon. So... Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. So happy Halloween again to everybody, everybody out there going trick-or-treating with their little ones or their, you know, siblings. Or if you're just going trick-or-treating yourself with a couple of friends, please stay safe. Uh, it can get crazy out there. Uh, make sure that the candy that you're receiving uh, is safe and it's, you know, not had any alterations or tampering to it and if you're giving out candy please don't be a dick and freaking you know give out tampered candy or anything like that just give out the goodies and you know check out some kids costumes and stuff like that and throw out just throw out some nice comments here and there but that's going to be it for me and as always guys this has been daybreaker rain and i will catch you all in the next one take it easy everybody and i gotta exit out of full screen to exit the stream <laughs>